boom, 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 boom. Welcome back, welcome back to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Today, we will be talking about what's on my mannequin. A cop that I'm sort of disappointed in, but we'll get to that later on. So let's talk about what's on my mannequin. As everybody knows, it's that time of the year again where everything is hot. So, this is one of the classic American Ralph Lauren polo shirts. Uh, this is sort of kind of a recent cop. I think I copped it last year. But with this shirt, it brings back a, very, a lot of memories for me and for those who have been rocking polo for a long time with the thick stripes on this particular shirt. It brings back memories of the classic, um, classic polo look, you know. I mean, all of us have our different views on what is polo and what bring us back to our childhood. And this right here is for me because I remember growing up back in the day, um, eighth grade, ninth grade, something like that. This was it. You know, um, we always wanted the Ralph Lauren shirts, the classic colors, the blue, the red, and of course the khaki polo hard coat. Uh, was a must-have back in the day for me, and also I still have that in my collection to this day. Not that, but yeah, new, refresh, yeah. But anyway, um, blue stripes, blue and white stripes with the red polo man, classic. You know, can go well with this hat. You know, um, can see rocking out with some khakis. But even you can go. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do the white shorts. I would do like a blue, the blue just a. Have everything dressed down, probably some um, classic Stan Smiths, the blue ones, you know, just to rock out, low key clean, you know, back in the day, that's how we used to do it. So, I also want to talk about, um, I had these in my wardrobe for a very long time, and I like them, but I don't see a lot of people wearing Sir Sucker for some reason or another, I don't know. I mean, when you think of Sir Sucker, you think of linen. You know, and it is a nice um, feel on your body. But um, I do have a pair of Searsucker uh, shorts. And in the back it has the Ralph Lauren, the green, with a uh, green polo shirt on, very detailed. I, I like these. The reason being because you could throw on a white t-shirt with this or a linen shirt and just rock out with some nice white shoes, some more Stan Smiths or, you know, either flip flops or that's your, that's your lane or whatever the case may be, but just something classy, something you can run over real quick with iron and, um, you know, be classy or just dress down casual out and about with you and your lady, you know, um, just for date night or something like that. So let's get in this cop and I'm gonna share the reason why I'm sorta kinda, eh, I'm sorta kinda upset, but then you will see why. Note that I haven't opened this package yet. I just got it maybe like 15 minutes ago, and when I purchased it, it said new with tags. So, let's see what's going on. Now, this is a Ralph Lauren rugby t-shirt, right? As you can tell, it hasn't been opened, right? So, the first thing I do when I get it, and it could be me, you know, but... I look at it like this. I work hard for my money, you know. So with that being said, once I spend my money on something, if you tell me the imperfections of the pieces I'm finna purchase, I may or may not proceed with purchasing it. And I understand, but when you try to get over on somebody, whatever the case may be, that's not a good, it's not a good character move. And it's a flaw on people characters. So I noticed this particular shirt. But as you can tell, there is a blue stain in it. So with that being said, it's not new with tags, as um, the description said. And obviously you or somebody wore this particular shirt. So with that being said, am I upset? It's a rugby. I can't be upset about that. But what I am upset about is now I purchased an item that, yeah, sort of pissed off about it. But let's open it up and let's see how bad it really is. So it's a color stain, like a blue, a blue dye or something in this particular t-shirt. 
and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Rugby is an older brand. It's an older line of Ralph Lauren. I get it. But don't tell me, well, new with tags. Guess what? Oh, it do have a tag on it. Mm, interesting. Mm, it's very interesting. But, you know, this is a rugby t-shirt. You know, some a gap piece. You know what I'm saying? I'm high on gap pieces. And I'm high on... Um, Rugby and this and I can still see it and you know once you purchase something and it's a flaw You're gonna continue to look at the, that particular spot because you're like, yeah, what can I do? You know what I'm saying is there any way that the cleaners can clean it, but it says new with tags, you know Old English of course as far as letter um, 2XL, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily upset about the the particular stain, but I probably could have got it for a lower price than what I paid for it. And I'm not trying to beat nobody out of nothing. You know what I mean? But at the same time, if, it's there, if there's a flaw in the item that you're selling, I think, you know, be aware and tell the person. I mean, give, them, give the person the option if they want to continue with the purchase or not. You know, regardless of how bad you need the money, it's, it's all about integrity and your character as a person. But guess what? We still finna work this. Understand it. We still finna work it. You know, it's a new with tags. It's whatever. But yeah, we still gonna work it. Also, let's talk about something else. Um let's talk about dress code. You know what I mean? Like at what stage in your life are you at as far as your 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 wardrobe? You know, as far as um what do you like to put on? You know, things of that nature, workplace, you know, etiquette as far as the way you, you know, represent yourself and when you out and about or whatever the case may be. You know, myself, I'm, I'm a supervisor at my job. I know somebody asked me before in the comments what I do for a living. I'm a supervisor at my job. You know, with that being said, I work a lot. And um, I mean, of course, I work a lot. People, all this, this is like, 10, 15, 20 years of collecting. This is not no overnight, you know, here you go. No, nah, this is a long time. Um, and I cannot dress the way I want to dress because of my profession. So with that being said, you know, sometimes I come home, you know, sometimes I got to get dirty. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, me personally, I'm not going to spend $105 or $200, $300 on a shirt only go to work and get it messed up. That's not going to happen. Nah. So, with that being said, uh, so tell me what do you do. Um, I'm trying to get more involved with my fan, you know, with the, with the subscribers. You know, thank everybody for coming out and, you know, supporting you, boy. Um, also, you know, as a man, you want to take pride in your appearance and your character. You know, as in life, you want to treat people as you want to be treated. That's just a gem I'm dropping because it always works for me, you know. Regardless of whatever, if I'm having a bad day or whatever like that, I can't hold that against you or anybody else just because I created something that I have to fix. Nobody's perfect, so understand that. Also, you know, I'll tell you, um, I got rid of a lot of clothes um, here recently in the last three weeks that I was too comfortable with. Meaning, when you go out and you purchase certain items and we have them in our wardrobe, but we continue to go back to the same thing, sweats, certain shirts, <laughs> gym shorts, you know, things of that nature. So I got rid of a lot of that, you know, because of the situation, because I want to wear my clothes. People are like, oh, you got all them clothes, but you don't ever wear them. I do wear my clothes when I have time. Understand that I just got done putting in 80 hours plus. And I know, you know, I haven't been on YouTube lately, but I'm trying to get back to my normal routine. So I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking by your boy's side. Um, it's always a positive vibes on this channel. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, we on the lifestyle, you know, vibe over here, you know, grown man edition. Uh, also, I'm, pr I'm probably, and I said it before, I'm probably gonna start dropping different type of, you know, colognes that I have in my collection. Um, today we're wearing a uh, Versace blue. For anybody who wants to know anything about that, go to your local Macy's or, you know, um, I guess any cologne store and ask for the Versace light blue. Trust me, 
A1. A1. Um, also, I got I got a couple. I copped another grill. I'm not going to lie. I copped another grill. I copped it. But it's tucked off. Yeah. But we'll talk about it a little bit later on. But I just want to, you know, share my experience with you guys and um, females if there are any on the channel. But I just wanted to share my experience as far as when you purchase things from people, you know, just about a character flaw. You know, people are so greedy for money these days that they got to understand we're living in a short period of time. Understand a short period of time. You can't take none of this with you. Nothing. So enjoy what you have. Spread positivity and longevity and drop jewels to individuals on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that being said, thank you for subscribing to Maurice's Polo Review channel. Um, like I said before, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. We try to get up to, you know, like a couple hundred thousand, hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> in due time, in due time. But I appreciate each and every one of you coming to Maurice's Polo Review channel. You have a safe, blessed, and stress-free weekend. Also, Make sure we're washing our hands, covering our face up with masks, and doing all the right things because that virus is still out there. Thank you and have a blessed weekend. Salute.